Hey guys, I made a further decision on the uh, back plate of the three jaw. I've turned a register on there. Damn hard cast iron. <laughs> uh, dulls the tools pretty quick on small cuts. Anyway, I've got that to a very tight tolerance, so I'm going to put the chuck body back on and uh, see how it works out. I'm still going to get trouble with the uh, jaws closing inconsistently, I think that's the way to put it. Uh, each time you lock them down there's a slight discrepancy. Well there it is back on. Not a major improvement because the main problem is these damn jaws. Uh, the inconsistency of the uh, tightening just depends how I put a piece in and how many times I try it. So that's probably about as good as we'll go on that chuck if uh, you remember the good reading I had when I checked it after the rebuild. I think I hit lucky on that, that was the best I could get but the trouble is it doesn't do that every time. Anyway one thing I have discovered is I have got a morse in the spindle but it's a number four. <laughs> and I've got an adapter, so we're going to try that new Jacobs type chuck. Well, so much for me forgetting about the Morse and the spindle. As I said earlier, I think it's number four, and I've got a four to two adapter here, which is never a good thing necessarily for uh, absolute perfection truth, but anyway, it would seem that this I put the light to the side a bit so we can see the uh, dial gauge and I'm doing it just handheld. It would seem this is in about the same ballpark as Lawrence Harrison with his test. Try and get over that. Again my metric indicator Sorry, it's very jerky. Anyway, it was just to give a bit of feedback on that one, seeing as I hadn't done it. Uh, it works out to be about a thou, I think. I'm not sure whether the drill rod is dead smooth, actually. Whether it's got a little hiccup on it, but anyway, it's about three graduations, so it's just over a thou. Pretty darn good for a, a budget-priced chuck. Not bad at all.